Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to remove objects from a picture in PhotoDirector 365. So here I've got an original image in which I've removed a couple of objects as you can see. So I'm going to show you how to do this. In the new version of PhotoDirector 365, you'll see these two options when you open the app. Click on the Edit option and it'll open PhotoDirector in Guided Mode. So first we need to import our image. You can drag and drop it in this section. I'll click this Add Photo button, which is what I'm going to do. Next, navigate to your folder, choose your image, and then click Open. So here is the image that I'm going to be using. I'm in the Guided section of Photo Director. Click on Object Removal, and you'll see this section that has two tabs. And I'm in the Manual Selection tab. There are two brushes here. This one is to remove the object. And this one is to restore the object if you make a mistake. Let me select this one so I can remove an object from the image. I'm going to remove this flower pot from this image. So I'll use my mouse like so to highlight the object. And then click on this Apply button in the left side panel. It will then process the action and then remove the object like so. As you can see, the flower pot has been completely removed and it did a pretty good job of doing that. The second tab for Line Draw works in a similar manner. So I'll remove this pen and stack of papers from this image. I'll use my mouse to draw the lines like so in order to select the objects. And then once I'm done, I'll click the Apply button like I did before. And it'll process the action and then remove the objects like so. As you can see, again, it's done a pretty good job of completely removing the objects. In the bottom left corner, you can click on this clear button to undo the object removal if you need to. And then once you're happy with the result, you can click on the Export button at the top. Choose your folder. Give it a file name. And then click Save. But that's pretty much it. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.